Emergency crews called to Trump's Florida property while he's overseas after what just showed up. President Trump is touring the globe this week on his first overseas trip and brought his wife Melania, daughter Ivanka, and son-in-law Jared Kushner along with him for the trip. While the crew is aboard and busy, things in the homeland still seem to be happening in his absence, mostly in Washington, D.C., until he just got a call about what just went down outside his luxurious Florida resort overnight. Trump has delegated much of his responsibilities to other people he trusts to take care of his businesses while he's busy as the President of the United States. But these people certainly have their work cut out for them. They not only have to deal with the day-to-day -day operations of his empire, but also are forced to manage the side antics of liberals who relentlessly try to bring Trump down as the president travels throughout Saudi Arabia, Israel, and Italy before making one of his final stops at the G7 summit meeting, he's learning about an emergency back at his Florida home, otherwise known as the Winter White House. The Mar-a-Lago resort was forced to call emergency crews out to the property when an unforeseen event occurred for which liberals took full disgusting advantage of. While it may seem like nothing to some, the left turned it into something much more significant. A sinkhole has opened in front of President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago club, according to an email alert from the town of Palm Beach in Florida. The four-foot by four-foot hole is in front of the club and appears to be near a new a water main on S Southern Boulevard, the alert said. The report continued. Utility crews from Palm, uh, West Palm Beach secured the sinkhole and likely will be doing exploratory excavation today. While sinkholes happen as a common occurrence in Florida, what's less common is what liberals did once they realized that the street outside Trump's resort had this huge pothole. As emergency crews are working to resolve this issue to keep pedestrians and drivers in their area safe, idiotic leftists on social media are having a heyday with this, referring to the moment at the end of his Saudi trip where Trump obliged Middle Eastern leaders for a photo op around a lit up orb that looked like a globe, presumably to symbolize a unity in the world. Liberals made jokes about this being the result of touching that light. A sinkhole just opened in front of President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. The orb demands sacrifice, Oliver Wills wrote on Twitter. The swamp is draining, Peter Stevenson clearly added. Actions have consequences, people, they wrote in the, uh, this Slade Shomer of the town of Palm Beach, Florida. While liberals have all the time in the world to concern themselves with making a mountain out of a sinkhole, President Trump and his family are hard at work trying to bridge the gap between nations and bring about much needed peace. The left should be praising our president and the mission of his trip as peace is something that they've preached and said they want more than Republicans. Ironically, when given a chance to prove that to be the case, they fall on old habits and choose hate and criticism as a standard reaction. Only a liberal could find a crack in a pavement which happened to be outside of Trump's property and see an opportunity to slam our president. He has no part in the naturally occurring whole, but does have a big role he's participating in on the world stage, mending relations, which the former leader of our nation couldn't accomplish in eight years. The sinkhole is being handled by capable emergency crews on the road to ensure everyone's safety and seal it up so life and traffic can carry on outside the resort once again. Once this is resolved, the left will lay in wait 
for the next innocuous thing to complain or criticize when they would have a lot more to talk about if focused on the positive changes he and the First Lady are bringing to our nation. If the worst that these people can say about our President is a few bad jokes about a sinkhole in the street outside of his multi-million dollar business, then it's fair to say that the Commander-in-Chief is doing a pretty remarkable job. And I agree. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.